Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with snacks around the world. Oh yes, there appear to be goodies to be had. Also within this video, there's going to be a giveaway. It is my birthday week after all. Yes, I've said that a bunch of times now. It is my birthday week and there will be a giveaway for this as well. I will show you what I'll be giving away for this video because there's giveaways every day. And I will tell you also what you have to do in order to uh, be eligible to win that. One of those things though that's very important is you have to be a public subscriber. If you are publicly subscribed, you're eligible and you have to do whatever I ask you to do. I mean, it won't be anything weird like hop on one leg for a year or anything, you know. Th there'll be a comment <laughs> involved in the comment section. All right, today we have snacks around the world. It is uh, brought to you by me because I pay for the subscription with my own cashing money, but it is my subscription box, Munch Addict, and it's yummy. And um, basically I get 10 snacks on the level that I do it every month so I break them up so that I, I don't do it all at once I don't really want to try 10 different things at once trying three things at once is hard enough okay it really is so today we are in three different places wow the first place we well maybe not the first I'm not sure where I'm going to start yet Australia uh, this maybe I should look on here instead it is some kind of donut cake Donut cake. What does that even mean? From Turkey. Chocolate cover. Okay. Turkey. So Australia, Turkey, and Mexico. More tamarindo candies. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm already happy about this. Unicornio. That's very cute. But I'm going to save this because I know they're going to be like chewy hard candies. I'm pretty sure that's how they usually end up when they're like this. Um, so yeah. But isn't that cute? Isn't that just darling? little unicorn on there. All right. Where to start? Where to start? It's always hard. All right. I think I'm going to start this time with Australia because, I mean, alphabetically it's first. Does that work for everybody? Alphabetically it's first? Okay. This is called Australia's Violet Crumble Delicious Shattering Candy Honeycomb. It's the way it shatters that matters. That's their slogan, apparently. Nothing I would have come up with. And I'm afraid it's going to make a mess if I try to shatter it. That's going to be fun. So we will start. I'm not going to. You know what? It's a candy bar. We're not doing nutrition information, okay? I don't even smell chocolate. And that's kind of weird. It looks for all the world like a Milky Way. If you're familiar with uh, American candy Milky Ways. I'm going to attempt to break this because it's supposed to shatter, right? A little bit of dust came out, so it is kind of crumbly inside. Okay, it's not nougat. It's something harder than nougat. Hmm. What an interesting texture. You think it's going to be dense when you look at it. Oh, that's going to be dense and thick and like nougat and all of that. No. You bite it. And the insides, it's almost like freeze-dried ice cream. Like astronaut ice cream. Have you ever had that? If you've gone to the Space Center or anything, you can buy like astronaut ice cream. It's freeze-dried. That's almost what it's like to me. It disappears very quickly in the mouth. It's like, oh, it's this big old bite. And then it's going, Phew, I'm gone. Just kidding. But that's good. Mmm. It's lighter than it looks like it would be. It's like, woo. And if it's so light, that must mean no calories, right? No need to look at the nutrition information. It's light. It's flying away. Astronauts would eat this or something. Who knows? I do like it, though. Mmm. All right, Australia. This is good. Why can't they sell this here? I mean, really. Sell this in the U.S., y'all. Somebody make that happen, because I would buy this. Mm. It's even, like, shiny and sort of crystally on the inside. I don't think my phone camera is going to pick it up. That's a shame, because it's, like, ooh, shiny. Mm. Mm. 
Yes, I got chocolate on my fingers. This chocolate definitely melts in your hands. So it's not M&M's. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. All right, that is definitely positively fat chick approved right there. I'm getting thumbs up from across the room, too. So I had to eat the whole thing myself. I shared, okay? I shared. I didn't share much, but I shared. <laughs> and yes, this is tea from uh, Time for Tea. Because I am recording these on the same evening. Mm. By the way, you want to know what I'm giving away for this video? Okay. And what you see is, may, is not necessarily all because I'll probably throw some other extras in the package. Let's be real. And yes, this is going to be um, anybody around the world is eligible so long as you can receive a package sent from the U.S. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? All right, first, because it's around the world, you got to have something cute that looks like a little, like a little clear suitcase. These are great for notions pouches. They have little pockets on the outside. It's a zipper pouch. You've seen me pull these out in hauls, okay? Little zipper pouch where you can put stuff in there. I put your crochet hooks or whatever. Um, I think it would even fit some circular knitting needles. Probably not regular long knitting needles, but, you know, you can carry your stuff with you, okay? Speaking of carrying stuff with you, this is a tote. It is a printed tote. The stash struggle is real. Because it absolutely is. And whether you knit or you crochet, see, they don't even have either one on the yarn. It's just yarn balls and like a wreath design. So you are set. You can actually hold your yarn in this. Put your noses in this. Bloop in there. But, but, but wait, there's more. Um, you're getting a travel lover's mug with double chocolate cocoa mix. Okay, there's the cocoa mix in there. But look at this mug. It's adorable. It's kind of like a little travel suitcase with stickers on it is what it looks like with an airplane and cities on it. What do you have to do to enter? I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you later. Okay. Next, we have more chocolate because I really need more chocolate right now. This is from Turkey. It's called Invite Donut Cake. And it says cocoa sauce in it. This must have been marketed for somebody not necessarily just in Turkey because there are several different languages on here and English right on the front because otherwise it would have like Turkish on the front or something. Oh, I was able to get into it. Yep, that smells like a packaged donut kind of deal. And it's upside down. I probably smooshed it. This has been around the world after all. Oh. Kind of a flat donut. It looks a lot more rounded in the picture, doesn't it? All right. Oh, it pre-broke for me there. Okay. Apparently there is some chocolate cream in part of it, but probably not in all of it because I don't see any over here and I see just a smidge of it over here. It feels kind of dry. The chocolate on it tastes like the chocolate coating that they put on Little Debbie snack donuts that you can buy in the convenience stores here. That is exactly what it tastes like to me. There's nothing foreign about this at all. This is just processed food, like way over processed, you know, but hey, it'll do. Mm. I wanted more cream filling though. I can't help it. I think it would be better with a glass of milk. Maybe not my lemon tea. Mm. But, eh. It's fat chick approved, but it's not like, woohoo, super enthusiastically fat chick approved. How about that? It'll do for a snack. But would I go out of my way to get it? No. Would I go out of my way to get a this Australian one? This Violet Crunch business? Or Violet Crumble? 
Hell yeah! That was good. All right? That's the difference there. Okay. There is one more thing to try. But before we try that, I told you that I would tell you in a minute what you had to do to enter the giveaway for this particular video. Um, I do have to tell you, of course, YouTube is not involved in this. It's sponsored by me, only me, and just me. Um, just because it's it's a, sort of an appreciation giveaway for my friends, my subscribers. And that's why I want you to be subscribed to my channel, publicly subscribed so that I can see it. Um, I am going to be choosing by way of the random comment picker, okay? This is going to end on the 20th, which as you're seeing this, if you're seeing this the day it came out, it'll be like six days, basically, because I will either record the video for that drawing that night or I will do it as a lunch live. It just depends on how life works that day. But what I would like you to do in the comment section, use the word fly, as in fly away, or waiter, there's a fly in my soup. However you want, you know, the word fly, because the random comment picker is going to look for that word. So if that's not in there, you're not entered, okay? Got it? Good. Oh, and by the way, I do have to remind you that if you see any comments from anybody saying, hey, uh, send me a message on your WhatsApp or on your whatever and, you know, call me because you want, that's not me. No. I will never put anything like that. The drawing will happen on a video and that's how you'll know that you've won. Not because somebody put a comment saying, yo, call me, baby. No, we don't play that here. Okay, but there's another snack. There is another snack to try. So, this is so stinking cute. Definitely geared for kids straight away because there's a unicorn. Unicornio confitados. Caramelo suave confitados, sabor tamarindo artificial. Artificial tamarind flavor coated soft candy. So it does say they're soft and not necessarily crunchy. I wonder if they're chewy. I guess we'll find out. This is made in Mexico. And I imagine it's something you might be able to find at a Latino Mexican market. All right, let's see what we've got. They're like little beans, little happy beans. Let's get another. Actually, I'm just going to pour them all out because there's not a lot in this packet. They look kind of like coated jelly beans or something, don't they? But they are not jelly beans. I'm going to pick a couple of different flavors here. Flavors, different colors to see if they're different flavors. Blue, a pink, purple, a red, and a yellow. Pass them along. If you don't eat them all, that's okay. I just wanted to get one of each so I can taste. I'm starting with the blue. I'm going to try to bite one to see what, we, see what the inside is. Yes, the tamarind is strong with this one. It is nice and tart. It is artificially more tart. This is not like, you know, fresh or frozen tamarind or whatever, but I am on board with this. That was the blue one. Let me see if the pink one's any different. I doubt it's different. I think they're just different colors. taste a little bit of chili in this maybe not but there is chili in this I love you Mexico I do this is awesome sugar corn syrup dextrose another kind of sugar um, tejote pulp guajillo, guajillo chili powder and then some other stuff that makes it form into candies. Okay. Yes. His mouth is moving, but he's not saying anything. What? The purple ones are spicy. The other one Chili. was spicy too. I'll try the purple one now. I don't think it's going to be any different. Mmm. 
This is Fat Chick approved all day long. I could totally snack on these, like, yes. There's just, there's a little bit of Wahio chili powder in it, but Wahio is not a spicy chili. If you're scared, ooh, it sounds scary and, and spicy because it has a Mexican name. Dude, if you want a starter chili, Wahio is the way to do it. Wahio is the one that you can make really good, nice, mild enchilada sauce out of. Um, these rock my socks off. I love these. If I see these in the store when I go to La Unica, which is a Mexican grocery store up in Greenville, or if I go to my local uh, Dia de los Gomez, I'm going to see if they have these. Because, yes, I know they're marketed for little kids. Look at the unicorn. Okay, they're definitely marketed for little kids. So maybe I'm just a little kid. Because, dude, these are good. Little bit of chili. Some tamarind tartness little candy coating on it. I'm I'm here for it. I am here for it. Yes. All right. Today we have been to Australia. We have been to Turkey and we have been to Mexico. All just by snacking on some good snacky snacks. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Really isn't. Want to try stuff from around the world? Subscribe to one of the uh, boxes that, that let you try stuff that don't necessarily have an obligation. Like, my, I can cancel mine anytime. There's no contract. Um, but I keep getting it because it's fun. I keep getting to try things that I haven't tried before. And, you know, you've seen the little fortune cookie that I actually received uh, going to a Chinese buffet, which is like, you know, that's all American Chinese, but whatever. Uh, I mean, fortune cookies aren't even actually Chinese, okay? <laughs> they were created in San Francisco, I believe. Um, but it said, curiosity is life. And... Yeah, so that's why I put that sna that little snapshot up there sometimes at the beginning or the end of the video because curiosity is life. Yeah. So if you'd like the little travel lover's mug with the hot cocoa mix and a little traveling type bag for your yarny goodness and this cute little tote looking thing that you can definitely put notions in and stuff inside that bag or whatever. Um... Put the keyword in that I asked for earlier. Oh, I'm not going to give it to you again. Hmm. And just know that I will be drawing that uh, probably the night before um, the Tuesday video comes out because these come out on Tuesdays. But I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing all your responses. And uh, yeah. What's the most fun thing that you've tried lately? Have you tried any cool foods? I'd love to hear about them because I'm always learning about new stuff to try because... There is plenty of stuff to nom on from around the world. Thank you for coming by. Happy birthday week to me. Ah! And I'll see y'all very, very soon. Bye, y'all.